in this problem we have to find minimum in a rotated sorted array so the array was initially sorted we have just broken it into two parts and put this later part ahead of this so it's like increasing or it can be flat also sometimes since duplicates are allowed and then this first part which was occurring before it that that is this part was smaller than this part comes after this and uh, it's a follow up question on our earlier a uh, problem where duplicates were not allowed so don't forget to check this this was a simpler version here duplicates were not allowed so it was strictly increasing here duplicates are allowed so you can see straight away here that 13355 and so some numbers are repeated so the idea is very similar to the previous problem so there we had uh, taken these three cases so these were the only three cases there either one of the parts is zero then it's strictly increasing or the second scenario is that we will have two parts one will be increasing then there will be a sudden dip this will be the minimum element and then again increasing and in that there were two scenarios the second part is larger in that case mid will lie there or in third case first part was larger and mid lied there so the idea will be very similar to this one only due to the presence of duplicates there will be a few more scenarios so let's see so we had said that uh, we have three scenarios one was when mid was more than rightmost element second was mid was less than rightmost element and third was mid equal to rightmost element so let's see so when mid is larger than right so one scenario would be that we have not broken the array and this is the original array it can be like this it can be like this so so in this case mid can level, never be larger than right or if we break it then what will be the array it will be like this let's say like this first part and the second part has to stop either equal to this in this case it can be even equal since duplicates are allowed so earlier this part was before this and it was sorted so it can never be more than this so everything in this part of the array part 2 are less than so 2 is less than equal to 1 and this is the first part this will hold for all the elements in this part so if mid is more than right then mid cannot lie in this part since this part is itself sorted both parts are sorted so if mid lies here mid will be either less than or equal to this right this is the right this is left so in that that means mid is lying in the first part so if mid is lying here what is the minimum minimum is always this one first element of second part so in this case what we will do we will search in so initially we started our search between l and r then we calculated mid and if mid is more than uh, right then it mid is lying in the first part so we have to look in this part so here we will search from mid plus 1 to r so left index has changed r has remained same if mid is less than right so if mid is less than right then mid will only lie here if mid is here everything in this part first part is more than or equal to second part this we have written and mid is less than right so it cannot be in the first part since in that case mid would have been greater than or equal to right so now mid is lying here this is the second case let me write in green so in this case second case we have to search in left of this this can mid can also be the minimum element so we will not decrement mid so in this case l will remain fixed now we will search from mid to beginning so our search will be l to mid and these two cases if you remember are exactly same as our previous question where duplicates were allowed but in the previous question if mid was equal to right then we knew that both mid and right are same element we have nar narrowed down our search to one element since two elements with the same value cannot exist since duplicates were not allowed but here that is not the case so these two are clear i hope for the third case there are a few scenarios let's look at that so we are looking into case where mid is equal to right so let's see what are the different cases one case would be that 
all the elements of the array are equal this is valid in this case mid is equal to r what can be other case that array is like this and then it flattens out so mid will lie somewhere here so mid will again be equal to r there can be other scenario where we have this flat thing and we have broken the arrow so this second part should be less than or equal to and it's like this so this is valid even if this flat part does not exist this will be same as the mid mid if this part is larger this region then mid will lie somewhere here so this mid is same as r this flat part need not exist then in that case this will be r and uh, let's take the other case of this that is we have a smaller flat region here or this can be even just one element and then the same thing but a bigger flat region here so uh, mid will lie let's say somewhere here on this flat region so mid is here right is here so you see that if mid is equal to r we cannot conclude anything in this case mid is equal to r but uh, we can search in either of these from mid to right or mid to left both are valid in this case min is lying to the left of it so in this case we are searching in the left part in this case mid is to the right of it so we are searching in the right and finally in this case again mid is equal to r so we are searching in left part so you see in some cases we are searching in the right part some cases in the left part you cannot even conclude on the basis of comparing mid and left in this case mid is equal to l is equal to r and going in both directions are valid in this case mid is equal to r and uh, l is less than mid in this case l is equal to m is equal to r so this is same as this case and now in this case also l is equal to m is equal to r so you cannot get any extra information by comparing to left if mid is equal to right it's not that uh, by comparing left you will get some relationship for example in this case all three are equal and we are searching in left part in this case all three are equal but we are searching in right part in this case uh, l is less we are searching in left part and so on so there is nothing conclusive here so in this case we are limited in our approach and uh, we cannot use binary search for this case in this case in this particular case we will just decrement the right index by one for all other cases we will narrow down our search to half so if this scenario occurs very less frequently so this will keep dec decreasing so this if the size is let's say 100 and this mid is equal to r does not occur then we will decrement our search to 50 if again it does not occur it's one of these two cases in that case we will again decrement our search to 25 and so on and we will take log in time but if this case occurs then we can only advance by one step which will be very uh, close to our linear search that is like take one element at a time compare keep track of min so in this case worst case uh, timing can be o of n let's say this array is flat so what we will do we will decrement r here again we will calculate mid here it will again be equal to r we will again decrement by one step and it will take o of n time so worst case can be o of n but there is optimization over simple plain linear search in that plain linear search will always take o of n but in all the cases we will not face uh, this kind of scenario that it all, always uh, gets to this so it's it's optimized over simple linear search so hopefully if the test case is not like that then we would finish in login but we cannot guarantee that worst case is still o of n so let's write the code for this and this code will be very similar to our earlier code only the last case would change where we were returning here we will not return but we will just decrement by one so let's first try the recursive approach also that should be uh, very similar to the older one so we will define our own search then we will convert it to iterative solution we always have a left and right index while doing binary search if l is equal to r then return 
nums l or nums r it does not matter and this is the mid if nums mid is more than nums r in this case what we were doing we were returning so this is the case where mid is more than r and this is this case so mid can be large than right only if mid lies in the first part so min will lie to the right of it so we are searching from mid plus 1 to right and the other case is if nums mid is less than nums r then we will search in the left part l to mid since mid can also be the min we are not decrementing by one otherwise we will just decrement right by one so this is the mad case where our algorithm is doing like linear search and here we will return nums 0 nums dot size minus 1 so initial search will start from first index till last index so what is the error here okay so this is r and not right and the solution is accepted so let's see its time then we will compare the time taken by iterative solution so it's 16 millisecond now we will convert it to iterative and it should be very simple l is 0 r is nums dot size minus 1 and this logic will remain same while l is less than r then mid is this and uh, if this is the case we will decrement l so here we are changing the l and r remains same and in this case we are changing uh, r r is becoming mid l is same and third case would be this one where r becomes r minus minus and outside this loop return nums l and this function is no longer used you can delete it and this solution is also accepted and in this case time is 12 millisecond you can even try a few times it can further decrease so there is some improvement with iterative although it's not guaranteed due to this huge fluctuation uh, by submitting the same code on lead code you get different timings so we cannot say that for sure now let's write the iterative solution in java and the solution is accepted and here it's 1 millisecond and most of the submissions are here only finally we will do it in uh, python 
this is the integer division and the python solution is also accepted 